Hello and welcome to Tech Simplified TV. In today's episode, we will discuss about different types of chips. We will also discuss where they are used in practical life. We will discuss briefly about SMD or surface mount devices. If you are interested, stay tuned till the end of the video. Today, our life is very much device or appliance dependent. Most of the devices, be it home appliances or medical equipments, everything uses semiconductor chips for their intended operations. Now, let's see where do we use chip in regular life. First, computers and laptops. ICs are the building blocks of computer processors which power these devices. Motherboard contains large number of chips. Altogether, these chips perform in coherence and intended manner so that computer or laptop can perform their work properly. Second, smartphones and tablets. Smartphones and tablets are basically smaller version of computers. These devices are as smart as their hardware and software. Chips are used to power the processor and memory in smartphone and tablets. Different chips help these devices to run apps and perform various functions. Number three, televisions. Chips are used in the control circuits of TVs as well as in the processing and display of video signals. Number 4. Automobiles. Chips are used in control system of cars and trucks. Those chips take part in regulating engine performance, fuel consumption, safety features, etc. Number 5. Medical devices. Chips are used in different medical devices including pacemakers, insulin pumps, diagnostic equipments, etc. Number 6. Home appliances. ICs are used in many home appliances such as refrigerators, washing machines and air conditioners to help control and optimize their performance. Overall, chips are an integral part of many of the electronic devices that we use in our daily lives, helping to make them faster, more efficient and more capable. Now let's talk about optical chip. Optical chip or photonic chip uses light instead of electricity to transmit and process information. In traditional ICs, electrical signal is used to transmit and process information, whereas in optical chips, photons are used for that purpose. Optical chips are used in applications like telecommunication, data centers, and scientific research. Optical chips offer several advantages over traditional electronic chips, such as higher bandwidth, faster data transfer rates, and lower power consumption. Photonic ICs or PICs offer advantages over conventional chips such as miniaturization, high speed, low thermal effect, large integration capacity and compatibility with existing processing flows that allow for high yield, volume manufacturing and lower prices. Optical or photonic chips are used in a variety of applications in our daily lives. Here are some examples. Number 1. Telecommunication. Optical or photonic chips are used in fiber optic networks that transmit data over long distances. They are used to convert electrical signals into optical signals which can travel much faster and farther than electrical signals. Photonic chips are also used in high-speed internet connections enabling fast downloads and streaming. Medical devices. Photonic chips are used in medical imaging devices like endoscopes and microscopes. They can detect and analyze light signals from biological tissues and cells allowing doctors and researchers to diagnose and study diseases. Number 3. Sensors. Photonic chips can be used as sensors to detect changes in light intensity or wavelength. They are used in environmental monitoring, industrial inspection and security applications. Number 4. Quantum Computing Photonic chips are used in quantum computing, a field that aims to develop super powerful computers based on the principles of quantum mechanics. Photonic chips are used to generate and manipulate quantum states of light, which can be used to perform complex calculations much faster than classical computers. Overall, photonic chips are an important technology that enables faster and more efficient data processing and communication, and they have a wide range of application in various industries and fields. After photonic chip, now let's talk about LED chip. An LED or light emitting diode chip is a type of semiconductor device that emits light when an electric current is passed through it. LED chips are typically made from a combination of elements such as gallium, arsenic, phosphorus and nitrogen and are arranged in layers on a substrate. The active layer of the LED chip 
is made from a PN junction, which is a region where a P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor are brought into contact. When an electric current is applied to the LED chip, electrons and holes recombine at the PN junction, releasing energy in the form of light. LED chips are used in a wide range of applications, including lighting, displays, and indicators. They offer several advantages over traditional light sources such as incandescent and fluorescent bulbs, including higher energy efficiency, longer lifespan, and greater durability. LED chips can also be combined to create multicolor lighting effects, making them ideal for applications such as stage lighting and architectural lighting. Let's talk about classification of chips. Now let's classify chips based on their functioning. Each electronic chip has specific function to perform. Based on functions or purpose they perform, we can classify them in few groups. Number 1 Microprocessor First in the list is Microprocessor. These chips are the brains of computer and other digital devices. They contain a central processing unit or CPU that processes data and instruction. Next is Memory Chip. These chips store data and instructions for a device. There are several types of memory chips including RAM, ROM and flash memory. Third in the list is Digital Signal Processor or DSP chips. These chips are designed to perform signal processing tasks such as audio and video processing. Number 4 is Field Programmable Gate Array or FPGAs. A Field Programmable Gate Array or FPGA is an integrated circuit designed to be configured by a customer or a designer after manufacturing. These chips can be programmed to perform a wide range of functions and that makes them versatile and flexible. Number 5 is Analog to Digital Converters or ADCs. These chips convert analog signals such as sound or light into digital signals that can be processed by a device. Number 6 is Power Management Chips. These chips regulate the power supply to a device ensuring that it operates within safe and efficient limits. Number 7 is Sensor Chips. These chips detect and measure physical and environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity and motion. Overall, there are many different types of electronic chips each with its own specialized function and design. There is another type of classification we can do depending upon material used to make the chip. Besides silicon, many compound semiconductors such as gallium nitride, gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, silicon carbide are also used to manufacture chips. Chips made with compound semiconductors are semiconductor devices that are made by combining two or more elements from different groups in the periodic table. Chips made with compound semiconductors offer several advantages of a silicon made chip such as higher performance and greater flexibility in designing electronic devices. Here are some examples of chips made with compound semiconductors are gallium nitride, gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, silicon carbide. Now gallium nitride chips are made by combining elements gallium and nitrogen. Gallium nitride chips are used in a variety of applications including power electronics, RF amplifier and LED lighting. These chips offer several advantages over traditional silicon based chips such as higher power density, faster switching speeds and better thermal performance. All these properties make gallium nitride chips ideal for high performance applications. Some of the applications of gallium nitride chips are power electronics. Gallium nitride chips are used in power electronics applications such as power supply, inverter and motor drives. They offer higher efficiency and smaller size compared to silicon based chips, enabling more compact and energy efficient power system. Second, RF amplifiers. Gallium nitride chips are used in RF amplifiers such as those used in cellular base stations and military radar systems. They offer higher frequency response and output power compared to silicon based chips, enabling better performance in wireless communications and other applications. LED lighting. Gallium nitride chips are used in LED lighting applications offering higher efficiency and longer lifespan compared to traditional incandescent bulbs. Gallium nitride based LEDs can produce brighter and more colorful lights making them ideal for lighting and display applications. Electric vehicles. Gallium nitride chips are used in electric vehicle powered electronics enabling more efficient and faster charging, better range and lower cost compared to silicon based solutions. Gallium nitride based EV power electronics can also reduce the size and weight of the power or train enabling more compact and lightweight EVs. Overall, gallium nitrate chips are an important technology that enables higher performance and efficiency in a wide range of applications from power electronics to wireless communication and lighting. Another type of compound semiconductor chip is indium phosphide chips. 
Indium phosphide chips are made by combining indium and phosphorus elements. Indium phosphide chips offer properties like higher bandwidth and lower power consumption that make them ideal for high speed optical communication and other applications. Some of the applications of indium phosphide chips are high speed fiber optic communication. Indium phosphide chips are used in the fabrication of high speed optical communication devices such as lasers, photo detectors and modulators. These devices enable high speed data transfer over long distance with low power consumption making them ideal for telecommunications, data centers and other applications. Second application is terahertz radiation. Indium phosphide chips can also be used to generate and detect terahertz radiation which has potential application in imaging, sensing and communication. Third application is photovoltaics. Indium phosphide chips are used in the fabrication of high efficiency solar cells enabling the conversion of sunlight into electricity. These cells have potential application in space exploration, remote sensing and other areas where high efficiency and reliability are critical. Fourth application in quantum computing. Indium phosphide chips are being explored for their potential applications in quantum computing which promises to revolutionize computing by enabling the processing of vast amounts of data unprecedented speeds. Overall, indium phosphide chips offer unique properties that make them ideal for high-speed optical communications, photovoltaics, terahertz radiation and quantum computing. Third type of compound semiconductor chip is gallium arsenide chips. Gallium arsenide chips are made by combining elements gallium and arsenic. Gallium arsenide chips offer higher frequency response, higher power output and better noise performance over traditional silicon-based chips. Application of gallium arsenide chips includes RF and microwave applications. Gallium arsenide chips are used in RF and microwave applications such as satellite communication, radar system and cellular base stations. Gallium arsenide chip offers higher frequency response and power output compared to silicon based chips, enabling better performance in wireless communications and other applications. Second application is photovoltaics. Gallium arsenide chips are used in high efficiency solar cells enabling the conversion of sunlight into electricity. This cells have potential application in space exploration, remote sensing and other areas where high efficiency and reliability are critical. Optoelectronics Gallium arsenide chips are used in fabrication of optoelectronic devices such as LEDs and photodetectors. These devices enable the conversion of light into electricity, enabling a wide range of applications including lighting, sensing and communication. Fourth application is in aerospace and defense. Gallium arsenide chips are used in a variety of aerospace and defense applications such as guidance and navigation system, missile system, and electronic warfare system. Gallium arsenide chips offer better performance in harsh environment compared to silicon-based chips, enabling reliable operation in extreme conditions. Overall, gallium arsenide chips offer unique properties that make them ideal for RF and microwave applications, photovoltaics, optoelectronics, and aerospace and defense applications. Fourth type of compound semiconductor chip are silicon carbide chips. Silicon carbide chips are semiconductor devices that are made by combining elements silicon and carbon. Silicon carbide chips offer higher thermal conductivity, higher temperature tolerance and higher voltage ratings over traditional silicon based chips. Some of the application of silicon carbide chips are power electronics. Silicon carbide chips are used in power electronics applications such as power converters, inverters and motor drives. They offer higher efficiency, smaller size and higher power power density compared to silicon based chips enabling more compact and energy efficient power systems. Electric vehicles. Silicon carbide chips are used in electric vehicle power electronics, enabling more efficient and faster charging, better range and lower cost compared to silicon based solution. Silicon carbide based EV power electronics can also reduce the size and weight of the power train, enabling more compact and lightweight EVs. Renewable energy. Silicon carbide chips are used in renewable energy applications such as solar and wind power system. They offer higher efficient efficiency and longer lifespan compared to traditional silicon based solutions enabling more reliable and cost effective renewable energy systems. Aerospace and Defense Silicon carbide chips are used in a variety of aerospace and defense applications such as high temperature sensors, power electronics and communications systems. Silicon carbide chips offer better performance in harsh environments compared to silicon based chips, enabling reliable operation in extreme conditions. Overall, silicon carbide chips 
chips offer unique properties that make them ideal for power electronics, electric vehicles, renewable energy and aerospace and defense applications. Now let's talk about surface mount device. Finally, we will talk about SMD or surface mount devices. We all have seen PCB inside different home devices such as radio or transistor. SMD is latest technology for PCBs basically. Electronics is a market or consumer driven subject so we decided to integrate SMD in today's topic. SMD is an electronic component that is designed to be mounted directly onto the surface of a PCB. They are typically smaller in size than traditional through hole components so they can be placed closer on the PCB. As a result, high density of components can be placed on a smaller PCB and the design become compact. As a result, manufacturing cost decreases. Since SMD components don't need holes in the board, it allows both sides of the board to be used more fully. SMDs are used in a wide range range of electronic devices including smartphones, computers, televisions and other consumer electronics. Their small size and high density make them ideal for applications where space is a constraint. Even with so many advantages, surface mount technique has some disadvantages when compared to traditional PCBs. SMT PCB assembly equipments are quite expensive and their inspection is quite difficult due to size. Well, that is all we had for this episode. We tried to give an overview of different types of chips and their field of usage. It's just a discussion from beginner's point of view. If you enjoyed the episode, share your comment with us. Also, share if you have any question or query. Don't forget to visit our technology blog techsimplifiedtv.in. That is much for today. We will be back with another episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned and stay focused.